Super Bowl. It's the coach, and this is the Madden Ultimate Team Playoffs. Between our visitors and our home team. With that, let's get down to Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Standing by for the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Brandon Godden, Charles Davis, happy to be with you. And Charles, we've got two teams who know each other extremely well. These division games, they tend to be battles. People scout like crazy in this league, but no one scouts more than within the division. Because if you win your division, you're automatically in the playoffs. That puts extra emphasis on these games, and they can't wait to get at each other. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they'll be led out by the former six-round pick out of UAB, Joe Webb. second and ten. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. There's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Over the middle, complete. That's Hudson. An effective 10 yards there takes us back to first down. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. They'll run with McKissick. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. It's probably a pretty good sign here on the opening drive if your guys from the secondary are coming up and spilling things in the backfield. How about the adrenaline and aggressiveness that led his eyes to the backfield offense. to run up there and make that tackle, setting a tone early for his defense. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Throwing on third and long. Webb. And an alley to run. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. I'm not sure he falls under the category of mobile quarterback, but he's athletic enough that if you don't keep your rush lanes intact, he finds a way to hurt you. As coaches like to say, I wouldn't call him a burner, but enough there in the tank. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked them up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up four. No score after one on EA Sports. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the hometown guys with the football here to begin this second quarter of play. As they've got it with a first and ten. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now Elliott. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. 
Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. And he's got this down to the 35. 11 more on that one and another first down. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. He's got a man wide open. It's Landry. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to, give the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. Bear in mind, that wasn't a big lineman back there for the tackle for loss. That was a cornerback. So are you saying the myth has been shattered? That all of them are not just cover corners? Some of them actually will stick their nose in and tackle when necessary? That's what we just saw, isn't it? This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Here's Mahomes to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown. An 11-yard touchdown. And his guys are able to strike for six. That's almost just not right. You cover everybody, but those tight ends, they can be awfully reliable. Very reliable. It, the defense just has to hate those guys. This drives them crazy because oftentimes you can't match up with them. They have either with size, speed, or maybe even just strength. Here's Phil Dawson now for the point after. And it's good to make it seven to nothing. That drive a long one, spanning 15 plays. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Out comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over here. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And Analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. On first and 10, Webb. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and 10. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. To throw on second down, here's Webb. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Now a first down throw, Webb. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Hudson. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing again on second down. Webb. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. A play fake. Now Webb. He rifles one that's intercepted. Desmond King picks it. You 
you're trailing, you're trying to get points late in half, I absolutely understand that. But remember, it's all about the ball. And without the ball, you can't get those points. They just turned it over. Now you got to be careful because that deficit can get a little bigger on the other side with that good field position they just took over with. Ezekiel Elliott gets ready to go again here on offense as he shuffles onto the field. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Sliding out of the pocket. And it's caught. Touchdown. A 16-yard touchdown. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here of the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and carry it into the second half. Now Dawson for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that about as lengthy a drive as you're ever going to see. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Now this offense about ready to take over again. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. As they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Second and six, just inside the 30. Webb. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. And this offense on third down today, they've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. Here's Webb. Webb can't escape as he goes down. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has certainly been one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference as the teams have already come back out onto the field for the second half. So let's get you back out as well to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This fielded at the two. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. So here they come, the road team now getting the football first to start this third quarter. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, 
Are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution, or did they think just, they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they felt like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. Pretty effective blitz there to stop the draw play right in its tracks. And actually, when they blitz, drop pressure from his right, and he goes down hard, flat on his back. Michael Strahan able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And that's the second sack of the game, but this player, disruptive in all phases, whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big-time guy you have to block. Here's Brian Anger now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Fielded at about the 28. So possession goes over here on the punt. Now this offense ready to head back out there. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you think you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. On second down. It's Elliott, and he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Tackle made by Marcus Golden. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. On third down, Elliott. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustment, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But it looks like they're ready to go. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. They do go for it. It's Mahomes. And this is incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, I've, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Webb. Webb can't escape as he goes down. Michael Strahan able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. Here's Brian Anger now as he'll punt it away for the second time. That's the end of the third quarter. Back now in Miami as we've got the final quarter upon us. We get ready to start the fourth. Back now in Miami as we are set to bring you the home stretch here, the fourth quarter. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now Webb, and this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey, and a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games, and now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. 
Now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here with this lead and the football things obviously looking good, but maybe, yeah, you've taught me this before, maybe this is where the defense is hoping that the offense helps them preserve that shutout that they've got going. And it has to be in the minds of the offense that they know how rare it is to get a shutout. So take care of them, protect them, take care of the ball, move it downfield, run the clock down. You don't want your defense to have to go on the field again the rest of the game, reward them. It was Kendall Donerson who made the stop on the defensive side. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And he finds a man. It's Olsen. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's our home team here in possession of the football as we come back. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. Now Elliott. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Here's Elliott. And Elliott trying to work his way forward, but it looks like he did not make it. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as he'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On to try the field goal now, Phil Dawson. This to make it a three-score game late. And Dawson's kick is good. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen. And you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Aren't I, though? The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And now back out comes the offense. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And, okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Led the throw. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's good play. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. On third down, Webb firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38 to throw Webb. It's interesting how we label routes, you know. Some people might call this a hitch. For me, a hitch is a little bit closer to the line of scrimmage, about one to three yards deep. A lot of people might call this a dig route, yeah, yeah. going this deep on a third and seven to pick up the first down. Others just call it a stick route. Get to the right point, stick in that spot, and let them hit you with a pass. No matter what, they did pick up the first down. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Webb now. Nice game there, partner, but you and I both know that won't do anything for the final score. They're not going to win this one. Right now, they're playing for pride and fantasy points. <laughs> and just to erase that goose egg, nobody wants to be shut out. 
Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense that's well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is emboldened the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Now Webb, they're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Here's second and eight. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he gets into the end zone for the touchdown from eight yards out. And his guys are able to cut into that deficit. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, uh, yeah. yeah, you know. Doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down. That's caught inside the 20. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So celebration down on the field for a good, hard-fought victory here. And it was her defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown, and that was all she wrote. Almost want to do the defense chant right now, right? Defense with a couple of claps in there, but no one wants to hear that from me. Let's just talk about how they got it done, though. When you take care of every aspect of the game, shut down the run, control the airways, right? Make sure the quarterback is harassed. This type of performance you get. They can't fashion together any offense, no consistency, and they just took control. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. This has been Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Join the discussion on Twitter at EA Sports underscore M-U-T. And with that, we sign off from Miami.